welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making the casserole to use in Greg's kitchen collaboration that he's doing for the um, casseroles. There's a lot of ladies that have been making them and oh, I've tried some of them and they are out of this world. They're wonderful. So you're gonna have to try all of them. I'm going to be doing a chicken divine today. It's a very, very old recipe, very simple, easy recipe, probably the easiest one I've ever done, and um, it's very good. You can actually make this up in just a half hour or so. You can freeze it, so here, let's try it. Now first you'll want to get two 10 ounce packages of broccoli, which I've already done. Now when you get that, you'll want to take it, thaw it out, and I laid it on a clean towel and let it lay and let all the water drain out of it because it's been frozen, so of course there's going to be water in it. So you want to get all that water out of it and then spray your pan real good and then put your broccoli in it. And then after you get your broccoli in it, you'll want to get your chicken. And I um, I cheated. I got my chicken all ready and I picked it all up, picked it off the bone. And it, I've been standing here eating it for the last 10 minutes. It's just wonderful. Now you can buy a chicken. Sometimes I'll go to the store you know, in the evenings, uh, the grocery stores will have these rotisserie chickens that they've done and they've um, actually got them on sale because they can't sell them the next day and you can get them really cheap. And that's a good time to buy them because you take them home and you can use them for this or a lot of other things, but they've already got good spices in them and um, they're great. But uh, I didn't have one of those this time, but I wish I had of. But they're really good to do that with. So if you ever see one and think, hmm, might just go home and make a casserole with that. So we just get it all spread out over top of our broccoli and cover the broccoli real good. And then you'll want to take and add in a cup of mayonnaise this uh, it's a good dish to have made up to take to a friend's house or something a quick meal at home now I use um, I use a can of cream of chicken and I also use a can of cream of mushroom soup because I like both. You don't have to. This is one of those recipes that you can just add to or delete. Now I like to do one of each. So I think that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to add those two in there. I love casseroles. Mix that just a little bit to get that all together there. And that cream of chicken was really chickeny. <laughs> it's nice and yellow. Okay. And then we're going to add lemon. Now I always take my lemon and go upside down with it to drain it get the juice out because that way I don't get the seed down in there usually. Watch me get the seed in there after I said I don't. This was a small lemon so I don't know if I'm going to have enough juice so I got me a little bit of lemon juice too just in case. See I got a seed in my hand. Usually it don't work that way. So, there. 
love the smell of fresh lemon. And I'm gonna add just about a teaspoon of lemon juice in that also. Oh, that smells so good. And then you can add your seasoning, um, salt and pepper according to your taste. Some people may not be able to use salt, so just use whatever is according to how you would use it in your home. The curry powder, uh, some people don't like it. I love it, so we're gonna use it. And uh, just get that mixed up real good in there. That's looking mighty fine. This, I bet there are probably, I don't know, dozens and dozens and dozens of recipes for this. Uh, people add and delete and use all kinds of different things that they might like in it. And uh, me, I always use more butter than what it calls for. I'm putting my butter in my um, skillet with my breadcrumbs. Because I like to get a little bit of butter on all of them. So I've got a little bit of butter to spread over all of it instead of just butter here, butter there. I want everybody to get a little bit of it. And uh, that way it'll be spread out some. So we're just gonna melt it and push those breadcrumbs around in it so that everybody gets some of it. And then we'll want to add our cheese. Now I'm using sharp cheddar because that's what my family likes. Now you can use different cheeses um, according to what your family likes. That's what's so good about this recipe. You can just, you take the recipe and you make it your own. That way You'll make it the first time, maybe according to the directions. And then the next time you'll make it your own. And I'm going to add about maybe a half a cup of chicken broth. Let's see how that mixes that up a little bit. It makes it a little bit smoother to um, spread over that. And get down in all of that and cook it together real good. I think I but I like recipes that you can change and make your own. And this is one of them. So, and I've, I've even used two kinds of cheese in it because sometimes I've gone to make it and I've only had about half as much cheese as I need it and I'll just get me out a block of something else and I'll add that to it too. I'll just shred it up and put that right in it. You know, I don't think that's going to be thin enough. I like it a little bit thin so it gets down in everything. Get down in that broccoli and it'll just cook real good and Get a little bit of that flavor through all of it. As my great granddaughter would say, now all you need more butter. Now she'd say butter. She corrects me when I pronounce butter wrong. She's four years old, and if I say butter, butter, she'll say, Mamma, it's butter. And I'm like, okay. But she's a sweetie. I love it when she comes and helps me bake or cook. We bake cookies together, and she was so sweet. She just loved it. There's nothing like it when your grandkids come to cook with you. Your great grandkids. She's my great granddaughter. 
Okay, I think that's about ready. It looks good. It smells real good. Now we're going to pour this over it. Try to get it evenly. I said you make this recipe your own after a while. He doesn't call for it, but I like to add just a little bit of ground up cracker crumbs in it. I like it because you get that extra crush, crunch, crush. Can't talk plain today. Extra crush. I said it again. Get that extra crunch. And also, um, they have some extra spices in them that we don't put in it and um, that's really good okay and then all you do is just add this to the top of it I thought I was making, I made my own breadcrumbs. I could have bought them in the can, but I just, I don't know, I like making my own. And I thought I was making too many, and you know what? I might have not made enough. But we'll find out. It'll be enough, because it's all I've got made up. I'm gonna spread those over it. We're gonna have a nice casserole when we're done here. See if we can get a little bit of those over all of it so everybody gets a taste of them. I think I might take part of this down to my daughter today. They're working outside, I think. It's nice today. There we go. I think we have enough. Okay, then just spread your breadcrumbs on it. For an old recipe, it's really good looking, isn't it? I think if you try it, you'll end up liking it. You'll change it, I'm sure, because I'm sure that's not the way it was made in the beginning when our moms and our grandmothers and our great-grandmothers made it. But um, it's the way I make it now. And you make it different. Let me know how you made it, and I'll try it that way. Well, we're going to put this in the oven for 30 to 45 minutes. Everything in it's already cooked. Uh, your chicken's cooked, your broccoli's cooked, your soup and everything's pretty well pre-cooked too. You just have to heat it up when you put it on the table and everything. So once it starts bubbling around the edges, then it's done. So we're gonna put it in the oven, let it get bubbly, and then we'll be right back. Okay, we're back and it's out of the oven and it looks yummy. Mmm, smells yummy too. This is a recipe that you're going to love. Go down below and get the recipe, try it. I know you're going to love it. Send us all your comments. And 
and don't forget to check with Okay, we're gonna, it's hot, so normally we wouldn't do this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Got to taste it. So, let's see if we can get some of it out. Let me take the Lord out. Oh, there's a nice big piece of broccoli. It's really hot. Probably gonna burn my mouth, but it won't be the first time. I've got to taste it. Really smells good. This is one of the oldest, I think. I think this is probably the oldest um, casserole recipe that I have. Mmm. Mm. That is mm, so yummy. So delicious. Now you can freeze this. Like this is way too much for my husband and I. I'll probably take part of it down to my daughter. But normally just, or else when you make it, um, put it in two casseroles and then you'll have one for now and then you freeze one for later. But um, don't be afraid to try new things with it. You can put, I've even put mushrooms in it. This time I put the mushroom soup in it, but I have used mushrooms in it. So I hope you'll all try it. And um, I know you'll love it if you do. Thank you for joining me today and um, enjoy all the recipes that the other ladies have on the Greg's collaborations. Collabor I did it again. You know what? I think that Greg needs to start a blooper because I, I would win that contest easy because I never do say it right. I always say something besides collaborations. Do it different every time. But that's me, never could talk plain. Anyway, enjoy the casserole and thank you bunches for joining me today.